begin the game with the basketball. Inside, he scores. As a team, when you establish your dominance in the paint early, it's critical to your offense because it eventually opens up the perimeter down the stretch. Trey Burke. No good. Westbrook across the timeline. Just getting started. Strap in for a good one here in game seven. Westbrook to George. KC now with four to shoot. George with another basket there. No fading on that shot. Strictly up and down. Fundamentals 101. New York in control of the basketball. That's the shooter's mentality. Stays with it after the miss. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Westbrook with it. The lead is two. To Paul George. On the painted area, won't go down. Yo, big kudos to the defender. It seems like his mere presence in the paint was enough to make the offensive player miss the shot before he even got off the ground. Here comes the screen. To Cantor. And it's Cantor above the rim. See, Ed, that's what I love. You don't need to conserve your energy. You attack that rim with ferocity. You always set the tone. The screen sets him up for two. He's endured a major injury. He's had a change of address. But you look at Paul George, he is in the prime years of his career. And there's no doubt about it. This entire offseason, if I were Paul George, I would think about how do I constantly channel my self-assigned alter ego. Playoff P needs to step up to the court every single day and bring that energy. Porzingis. Here's a chance from long range. It's no good. Shots not going down. To Westbrook. Shot by Westbrook. Off the mark. Look, sometimes it takes a little while to get into the flow of the game. During the next timeout or during the next break in action, take the ball, go shoot it. See the ball go through the net a couple of times. Westbrook into the front court. Two-point advantage. Knocks it down from mid-range. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Knicks with the basketball to Porzingis. Here comes the screen. To Cantor. Got a piece of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. Westbrook. Off the assist. I like that aggression early. You never just settle for jumpers. You attack, you attack, you attack. Then when they back off, you'll have room to shoot that, Jay. To Porzingis. To Hardaway. Here comes the screen. To Cantor. And the finish. Slam dunk. Another possession, they were forced to take a tough shot. This time, they got it to go, but they need to do something different to start creating more open look opportunities. Paul George. Oh, had him going there for a second. Can't connect. Has to know what's a good shot and what isn't. Let's see what the Knicks can do here. Missed it. They weren't going to give that to him. Another follow, still no good. Westbrook with the basketball. 10-6, our score. Westbrook to George. Oh, he had him there for a second. It's George for two. Knocks it down on the step back. That was not easy. And last year, it seemed like PG really had a difficult time finding that next level elite PG. No doubt about it. This year, he needs to be playoff P all day, every day. Cantor. Cantor with a shot that won't fall. George lets it fly. No good. No daylight. Great defense. You see, this is something that everybody has, but some people choose to use it or not. I'm glad you choose to use effort on getting around those screens. Cantor. 
Count the basket. He's feeling good. Defense has to get him out of his comfort zone. Hand down, man down. You got to get up and contest the shot. To Westbrook. Nothing going here on that drive. To Adams. The Thunder down to four in the shot clock. George won't go. He needs some luck on his side given how they're defending. Nothing better than seeing some fake hustle. Player the coach. Coach, I was there. Coach the player. Uh, no, you weren't. Porzingis. Not that time. He misses. To Westbrook. Nothing going here on that drive. To Paul George. To Westbrook. Four second violation. Substitution being made in this one. To Porzingis. Four three. Off the mark. No good. Westbrook into the front court. They're scored 12 to 8. Screen coming. Westbrook to Adams. No good. The defender was a little too close for comfort. And it's never a great thing when you're talking to yourself the entire next possession about the shot you just missed. Now you know you're in that player's head mentally. from the lane won't go and a lot of times in this league teams take days off but if this defense keeps maintaining that style of pace defensively this is going to be a dog fight no oh, i had him going there for a second how you practice leads to that nice pump fake they're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter To Cantor. Has a chance. Off the mark. He's made those before, but that was well defended. Russ at the controls. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but... And one. And he missed the free throw. Burke with it. Margins eight. Trey Burke scores from the post. to Westbrook finishing inside the paint on that one that's a good run right here to end the first quarter to open up that lead if you're the coach of this team you have to like the effort your guys are giving trying to cash in and strokes it you can finally see this team starting to get their rhythm and their groove offensively this is a good run to get them back in the ball game. From 18 feet, at the buzzer, one quarter down in this deciding Game 7. And we're back after this. You're tuned into the NBA Finals on EA's... I got a confession. I possess the God particle, lock me up for possession. The relationship with God should be great for proper protection. If I am the show and prove, ain't no need to ask me no question. The segregation real, you should probably stay in your section.